Well, it's Good Friday. And so I just want to take a moment to tell you perhaps the most important thing that I have ever said on this program. Uh, Good Friday, uh, as we know, commemorates the day upon which Pontius Pilate condemned Jesus to death by crucifixion. He was tortured, uh, he was fastened to a cross, he hung there until he died, and that is a well-documented event in human history. Now, do you know the Latin word for cross is crux? And when we speak of the crux of something, we're speaking of its most important feature, the most fundamental aspect, its most vital point. Um, And the crux of all of history is the cross of Jesus Christ, the most fundamental point. The, in fact, the crux of your life is your relationship to that event. The most important thing about your existence right now is how you are related to the cross of Christ. And I talk a lot of politics. I talk a lot of news. I talk a lot of current events. And many people watch because they want insights. They, they, they want uh, political savvy and all the rest of it. But I assure you, all of those things are just piles of vanity compared with this surpassingly important fact, your relationship to that event in history, the cross of Jesus Christ. And I want to mark Easter by reading you something, and I'm reading you an account of someone who has actually had a startling realization. They've had a revelation of what the cross of Christ actually truly means and what it really ought to be in their consideration. And it switches on occasion between um, the voice of God, which it starts with, and the voice of this person who is having this startling uh, revelation but you'll be able to follow with me. And it's from Isaiah 52 and 53. I'm just gonna read it. It says, Behold, my servant shall act wisely. He shall be high and lifted up and he shall be exalted. As many were astonished at you, his appearance was so marred beyond human semblance and his form beyond that of the children of mankind. So shall he startle many nations Kings shall shut their mouths because of him, for that which has not been told them they see, and that which they have not heard they understand. Who has believed what he's heard from us? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a young plant, and like a root out of dry ground he had no form or majesty that we should look at him, and no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hide their faces, so he was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace. And with his wounds, we are healed. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We've turned everyone to his own way and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth like a lamb that is led to the slaughter and like a sheep that before its shearers is silent, so he opened not his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away and as for his generation, who considered that he was cut off out of the land of the living, stricken for the transgression of my people. And they made his grave with the wicked and with a rich man in his death, although he had done no violence and there was no deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the will of the Lord to crush him. He has put him to grief. When his soul makes an offering for guilt, He shall see his offspring. He shall prolong his days. The will of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. 
out of the anguish of his soul. He shall see and be satisfied. By his knowledge shall the righteous one, my servant, make many to be accounted righteous, and he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore I will divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he poured out his soul unto death and was numbered with the transgressors. Yet he bore the sin of many and makes intercession for the transgressors. I just want to say, may God bless you this Easter by giving you that revelation, by reconciling you to Jesus Christ and his saving cross. And may you be able to say with the Apostle Paul, as I pray, I can say too, God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Happy Easter, and that was surely the truth of it. Hey guys, make sure you click like to like the video or hit the subscribe button down here and click on the bell so you don't miss any notifications. And to watch more videos, just click here. Cheers. Go on, click one. You know you want to.